Hi, this is Doug from Dynamic Computing, and welcome to a special short edition of 10-Minute Amiga Retrocast. Uh, occasionally I throw one of these in, a non-numbered uh, edition, uh, just with some cool stuff or information about what I'm doing. And this week I've been working on my trusty Amiga 500 with my ACA 500 Plus and working with my DC TV. This little beauty. I did a review of the DC TV a couple of months ago and uh, hooked it up to my Amiga 500 and it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely love it. So I took a trip with my wife last week to Picacho Peak, which is here in Arizona, right between Tucson and Phoenix. Beautiful mountain, small mountain. You can go hiking on, but it is known for its wildflowers in the spring. Absolutely gorgeous wildflowers. So I took some fun pictures. I've been a photographer for years, took some fun pictures up there. And I thought, well, I'm going to put together a little presentation on my Amiga 500 and my DC TV. And I was pleasantly surprised. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, the DC TV is an interface that plugs into just about any Amiga and allows it to display and capture images and process images in millions and millions of colors. You can't display workbench on it. You can't display your programs on it. It only works with what's included with it, but my goodness, does it do a fantastic job. Uh, the way it works is this. When you launch the DC TV software, you're presented with a, with a nice screen over here. Um, gives you options to uh, digitize an image, paint, convert an image. I'm just going to briefly go through this because I did already do a complete video on this and I'll link to it in the description. But uh, we'll go to digitize an image and it you see the screen now looks kind of funky over here on the left but on the right on my 1702 monitor it looks perfectly clean and clear. That's because that's the DC TV that's projecting over there. We're going to tell it uh, high quality image, we're going to tell it to scan. Now the way that I'm doing this. You can see over here, there we go, a nice picture uh, that I took the other day. This is actually connected to the DC TV through my traditional uh, Wii. I've actually got a nice little uh, 2007 uh, Wii that I use because it does a great job of displaying pictures. And you can briefly see here, it's just a standard Wii. Okay, but I'm using the picture program. Now we're going to take this image here and we will digitize it. Click the left mouse button and you can see it scanning it in. Takes a few seconds. This is not like the VLAB motion that I was working on uh, a couple of weeks ago that is instant digitization. This one takes a moment or so to digitize it, but it's a little higher quality. And it works on the Amiga 500. So now that I've created my image, you can see I've got a nice beautiful image there. Let's actually zoom in on that a little bit. And that's displayed on a Commodore 1702 monitor. Got a nice beautiful image here. We could make some adjustments to it if we want to. Uh, color, tint, everything like that, but we don't really need to. We're going to save it. Now this is important. We want to save it as a display file here on the right hand side. A display file right there. That is going to allow this image to work with almost any Amiga program that can handle uh, 640 by 400 uh, graphic images, 16 color images. And we're going to give it a name here. Ducks, pictures. We're going to call this Pretty Flower. Now I'm going to call it Pretty Flower.disp so I know that it's one that I'm going to be using with other Amiga programs. If I were to save it in RAW format, it saves it in the RAW DCTV image format that only DCTV can handle. 
if I save it in the 24-bit format, it's going to save it in standard 24-bit uh, file format that any program that can handle Amiga 24-bit images can work with. This format is unique, and let me show you why. Click Save. Quit out of there. Now with my new image, I can open up any paint program. In this case, I'm using a Cloanto version of, of personal paint. Um, this is the version before they sold it to uh, Aeon. And we're going to open an image. And we're going to go to work, docs, pictures, pretty flower. Format is 736 by 482 in 16 colors. That's what Personal Paint thinks it is. So it reads it in. And you'll notice it reads it in as absolute garbage. The, I mean, you can sort of see some images there, some, some, some graphics, but that's the way DCTV images look natively on an Amiga screen. But what they do is they hide up in the top they hide some special code that the DCTV box reads and then translates it over to the other monitor. Da 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 da. And you can see, I can even, uh, I could do some animation with this if I wanted to and put a series of uh, DCTV images in and have uh, personal paint animate them. So, what I've done is I've used Amiga Vision, which is a program I want to do an entire 10 minute Amiga retrocast episode on to create a series of just like a little slideshow using DCTV images. Okay, I've got a little audio in here, and then I've got uh, all of the images in there. These are actual DCTV images. So when I go to play this, it is just going to come up with utter nonsense on the screen. Hey, listen to that sound. You can't see anything. But playing over here is the actual slideshow with the music playing in the background there. So in a nutshell, I've taken a series of DCTV images and put them into Amiga Vision to create a nice little slideshow, kind of like an old style PowerPoint show is really what it is, with a little music in the background. The music, by the way, was also handled on an Amiga. It, it's the, uh, the intro song to my channel, and it's actually a song called Mushroom done by uh, Helgi Valheim. Uh, you'll find his uh, link to his music in the, in the description down there. And what I did is on my Amiga 4000, I captured the entire song as a 16-bit sound file using my AD516 card in my Amiga 4000. Then I converted it into an 8SVX file, which is basically just an 8-bit file that the Paula chip can play just fine because that's what Amiga Vision uses. So I thought, well, how am I gonna get music to play in the background? Got plenty of memory on here. I got eight megs of memory total and uh, plenty of speed with the AC500, so I thought I'll just convert the whole song into an 8-bit, uh, basically a sound sample, and I'll play that back in Amiga Vision. It can handle it just fine, and it worked out pretty well. Uh, so everything was done on, on an Amiga. Act all of the actual processing and, and setting everything up was done 90% on my Amiga 500, 10% on my Amiga 4000 behind me. Uh, basically just because I don't have an audio digitizer for the Amiga 500. So here's the actual presentation. It's just something quick and fun that I'm using as a proof of concept, but I hope you enjoy it.
So like I said, quick down and dirty little presentation just to give an example of what the Amiga 500 can do with the DCTV. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'm working on an actual uh, review and tutorial of Amiga Vision. It's actually a really great program. It's, it's almost like a programming language and like an object-oriented programming language and there's a huge amount of stuff you can do with it but it is limited in the type of file formats it can handle. Uh, I wish they would have kept updating it, maybe allowed it to work with data types so we could use just about any kind of file format we want to. But as long as we live within the limitations of the program, there's some really cool stuff we can do. So, thanks again for spending a couple minutes with me. I'll have a full 10-minute Amiga retrocast in, in the next couple of days, all about my A2200 board and the work I'm doing on that. And until then, please like, please subscribe, please share this, please tell your friends about my channel. And this is Doug from 10-Minute Amiga Retrocast, signing out.